Good evening. We're glad you're here. It has been more than a week since a pro-Palestinian protest encampment was set up near the state capitol on the lawn of the old Ada County Courthouse. And while the tents remain, things do look a bit different than they did last week. Our Jude Binkley joins us with the latest on the local protest as, as it enters its second week. Well, Andrea, tents have moved around, but they do remain at the old Ada County Courthouse. And throughout their demonstration, these protests have also taken to the Capitol steps. Sunday marked nine days since a pro-Palestinian group set up a protest in the shadow of the State House. The group calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. We want to send a message. But a change in time has also led to a change in how things look in front of the old Ada County Courthouse. Law enforcement placed police tape around the front lawn of the building, saying the area is being blocked off for lawn maintenance. Several tents remain at the site in an area to the side, not blocked by police tape. Tensions have continued to rise and a woman was arrested at the protest Friday night. Idaho State Police say she was arrested because she wouldn't move from the area while police were conducting ground maintenance. Sunday also marks Mother's Day. We are um, here in vigil for all the mothers and their children in the in Gaza right now. Protesters moved to the steps of the state house to hold a vigil for Palestinian mothers and children who have been killed. Here in the states, you know, you got Mother's Day and things like that where it's you know, you go out to brunch somewhere and buy flowers and whatnot and you know that's you don't really think about what's going on um, elsewhere and in Rafa right now as well as other places in the Gaza Strip there are uh, you know, countless mothers who have just lost their children or vice versa. And I think it's important we, at the very least, recognize that. And protesters say they will continue these demonstrations until their voices are heard. Andrea. All right, thank you very much, Jude.